I'm reading this, um, and, um, Yahoo, Yahoo Shine, actually, about this, let's see, about this 15-year-old high school student in New Jersey who complained about being bullied by a teacher and, um, you know, he recorded it on his cell phone. Now, here's what I've noticed about, and this in particular, the, you know, sort of, um, half and half, or the, you know, half the comments made about it, sort of, you start to learn that the media gets biased. Uh, case in point. The clip does show the teacher yelling at the student. It does show that. What the clip doesn't show is what led to the uh, student, what led to the teacher doing that. Now, I know teachers are supposed to, you know, behave and not cuss at the kids. But you gotta realize that this is an American school. Public teachers in public schools. They don't get paid much, okay? They, um, well, I don't know about this school, but some schools, the teacher has to buy some things for the class. You know, teacher makes, you know, 18, 20K a year, which isn't much if you think about it. They might not even make that much. But, um, you know, and teachers... Had to put up with a lot of stuff. Had to put up a lot from students. Had to put up with, um, you know, students uh, talking trash to them, throwing things, disrupting class, fighting, cussing, you know, carrying weapons, just trying to show off in front of their friends, basically. And the, you know, again, the media does not show that. Doesn't, you know, as soon as, you know, a student can sit there and badger a teacher for 20 minutes. And then, you know, somebody catches 45 seconds of the teacher going, well, you little bastard, shut the hell up, you know. It shows 45 seconds of the teacher doing that, and suddenly the kid is a saint. Suddenly the kid is this innocent little child who was sitting there and, was minding their own business, and the teacher just out of boredom sort of berating them. Uh, yeah. But they don't show what the teacher has to put up with. And public school teachers, they literally feel powerless. Because they have a class of 25 to 30 students who, you know, once one student acts up and the teacher has to focus all his or her time on that one student getting them out of there getting them behave and then get all the other class and now not even focus on the subject getting them back into uh, you know whatever subject the teacher is teaching math, science, whatnot, and um, you know it, and they let these kids do that. And, you know, the teacher can't hit these kids. The teacher can't touch these kids. The teachers can't say anything about these kids. Now, think about it this way. Anybody, no matter what age you are, if somebody, a co-worker, another student, or whatnot, if someone starts, you know, yelling at you, calling you names, fighting with you, you know, even not physically, just trying to start a fight, you know, acting up like that. If someone does that to you, no matter how calm you are, after a while, you would snap. And of course, if you snap, suddenly Everyone's filming that scene of you beating someone up. 
and suddenly you're the bad guy and that person who went on for 40 minutes to an hour calling you every name in the book talking about you and every sort of lot suddenly that in the person is an angel you know that was um it was a story a few years back I think it was in Brazil I could have been wrong but it was a there was a video of a man beating a man to death I mean literally just beating him with some sort of a plank or a stick or something I don't know and people was up there you know talking about oh how dare that man beat that other man to death how how could he that poor victim that poor individual was just minding his own business walking down the street and the guy started beating him up with a bat or whatever that was you know how can that individual do that that person the the uh, person beating him up that person beating him up must is um, some sort of monster and you up there and you like you feel bad for the victim and now you hate the guy with the stick and that goes on for about two months you, you know you up there like you know a uh, poor victim do with stick but then you find out something you find out that the victim was a child molester who had molested seven girls including the man with the stick's daughter suddenly that's a whole other meaning right there you know suddenly you suddenly you're cheering the guy on with the stick and giving the finger to the victim but that's how it is in America if you think about it you know stuff like this they always show the ending of they don't show the whole story they show you know like chapter 8 instead of chapter 1 through 7 and that tries to give you a that idea gives you a different view you know we've all done that you know you see something you see something you go well you know that poor individual then you find out well that person was uh, the bad guy in the beginning suddenly you're walking around going I don't know who to root for now but it's it's, it's getting to the point now where it's disgusting you know it's just bias and I'm not saying that the teacher that New Jersey teacher is innocent or not you know I'm not saying teacher should get fired I'm saying I want to hear both sides of it I want to know what led to that teacher doing that before I condemn the teacher for their behavior I want to know what pushed that teacher to get up there and say I'll kick your you know ass from here to kingdom come and tell them 80 You know, I want, I want both sides, and American media won't give you that. You just get a biased view. So, you know, that's my little video on that.